Hi, this is Hugh Van Kallenberg from The Resilience Project, here to give you three tips to create resilience within your child. Why is this so important? The rates of mental illness around this country right now for primary and secondary school kids um, are really frightening. Number one, uh, social connection. Create social connections for them. So often uh, we find ourselves turning to social media to get our um, to get our psychological needs met, the, uh, the need to be loved, the need to feel validated, the need to feel like we belong. Uh, make sure your kids are getting those psychological needs met um, in real life social groups, not on their phone. Uh, that's a really important one. Number two, emotional literacy. Emotional literacy is the ability to label the emotion you're experiencing as you're experiencing it. Why is this important? Uh, because so many kids around Australia struggle to tell you why they, uh, sorry, how they're feeling and why they're feeling that way. Um, so ask your kid how you're feeling and get them to give you an emotion. Uh, if they struggle with the emotion, um, use emoticons on your phone and say which, uh, point to the face, which face do you feel like? And when they do that, you say, why do you feel like that? We're teaching them here to identify their emotions and actually to, um, uh, to actually solve their own problems, which is a really powerful thing to learn at a young age. So how are you feeling and why are you feeling that way? And then you help work with them. Uh, number three is gratitude. The ability to pay attention to what you've got not to worry about what you don't have. When you pick them up from school, the tip is when they get in the car, don't say what happened at school today. Say uh, what went well for you at school today. Uh, we're also good at paying attention to the negatives, but this little question will help reframe the way they think to, uh, to pay attention to what's going really well for them. Uh, on behalf of Australian Unity and the Resilience Project, uh, we wish you all the best for Term 1 in 2019.